Hello, welcome to Silla V Tarot. Let's see what your person's thinking about. Let's see what's going on in their mind during this time. Um, hmm. If you're interested in a personal reading, all of my information is below. And if you haven't, consider subscribing. And let's see what the vibes are. What's going on with this person? What are they thinking? Will you forgive me? What is that, Brian? Adams. Yeah, like, please forgive me. Will you forgive me for coming off as if I was your karmic partner? Okay? Would you forgive me here? So I feel like someone here is definitely trying to seek forgiveness here. Okay? So I still have very strong emotions for you. I'm still very connected to you. I may not be saying much. I may not be, um, you know, presenting myself uh, via communication or um, I'm not um, expressing my emotions. But I feel like there's an energy of please forgive me because of some of the obstacles I may be going through at this time. I feel like this person could be in a fog when it comes to emotions. Um, I feel like this is someone here that um, understands that saying sorry may not be enough. Okay, if you understand what I mean. I feel like someone here is starting to understand that um, you are special to them and they didn't treat you as such here. And I feel like with this forgiven energy, you possibly have forgiven this person a number of times actually yeah I've forgiven you a number of times for ignoring me for not um, acknowledging me for not connecting with me for not loving me the way that I have loved you I feel like that's the energy we're at this time um, and I feel like this is someone here that is trying to hide behind some sort of um, apology or they're trying to hide behind contacting you because they know that um, you may or may not forgive them I feel like they have to apologize for so much that they're just not in a place of being ready to take accountability for some of the things that they've done okay what is this person thinking wow what is this person thinking wow this is someone here that has a very unstable way of thinking when it comes to love okay for some of you this is someone here that tries to sabotage this relationship you know to the best capacity like i'm going to sabotage this by not being straightforward by you know um blocking you at times by not communicating with you at times and we're going to look into the obstacles and in, in terms of why but i feel like this person understands that this is a connection that is so valuable right but the question is then why are you so resistant why are you so unreliable and why do you constantly hurt this relationship so much when I'm constantly presenting myself as someone that is genuine and compassionate. Why? I feel like this person, again, has a very unstable relationship with love or a very unstable energy towards what they deserve, okay? Some of you, this person has a very strong retrograde in their Venus, or this is someone here that didn't grow up in the most loving environment, all right? Not trying to make excuses for this individual, but I just see this person constantly asking for forgiveness for their actions, okay? But one of the main things that I see here is this person starting to understand that um, you are someone that's extremely special to them. I even see this person at some point viewing you as their long term, right? Like I see you as my long term, but at some point I started to um, become fearful. I started to feel as if maybe I don't deserve you. And I started to sabotage this relationship by not communicating, by ghosting, by coming up with the most craziest excuses of why we cannot make this amazing connection work. Someone here definitely found the way to um, shake things up for sure. If you understand if this is something that's resonating with you, I feel like this is someone here that um, it's like things were great. Things were good. And this is something that we felt. It wasn't, you know how a lot of people have to like uh, force a relationship to look good? No. I feel like for some of you in the beginning, things were good. There was chemistry. 
there was bond, like you created a very beautiful bond with this person. Yes, there were some sort of red flags in terms of this person's insecurities and in terms of how this person, you know, at times would, you know, create this resistance or this space. But ultimately, when you would look into this person's eyes or speak to them, whatever it may be, however you two bonded, it was such a deep connection of love. And now I want to know if you will forgive me. Not only that, I want to know if we'll ever be the same again. Okay? If you look at this energy of this forgiven here and the future energy, I feel like, yes, the core, there's a lot of love, the foundation, there's love. But can I, could we ever be the same? All right, especially if you're dealing with some or if you have a lot of water placements or Aquarius placements, I feel like for some of you, um, you're just viewing this Capricorn too, Virgo, you're viewing this as can I truly open up to this person again? Can I truly trust that this is someone here that's going to be very um, honest with me? Because this person has a tendency of not being honest with their own life or being honest with how they're portray or how they portray themselves, right? For some of you, you're dealing with someone uh, that's extremely fake at times. They could be very fake. They can, you know, try to come off as if everything's going great for them, but it's a lie. And now I feel like you're looking at this, well, okay, when this person reaches out again, can I really trust this person again? And at that point, that's a decision, of course, you have to make. But I do see a lot of you in a place where you're protecting yourself. Yes, I love you, but I also love you enough to know that you're unstable, right? For some of you, it's like, well, this person's really unstable. They don't really understand how to value this beautiful connection. Yes, they want to come back. Yes, they want to have a conversation. Yes, they want to send this um, a text message that doesn't even make sense to me. But can I trust you again? And I think this is what this person's um, obstacle is currently. Will you forgive me? Will you forgive me for not being my authentic self? I don't know. Okay, so let's look a little bit deeper. We have new beginning here, the bottom of the deck. Um, so a lot of you may just um, create some sort of closure within this situation here okay or approach it very differently however this new beginning looks for you for some of you you're just creating a new beginning by uh again shutting things out with someone here i feel like this person here it's like they want to offer you something let's look deeper let's see what this person's intentions are because i'm just getting a vibe of i can't get you out of my mind and i don't want to lose you so what do I do? That's the vibe that I'm getting. Okay, I'm getting Taurus energy as well. Some of you could have wrote this person a very extensive text message or planning on doing so. Or for some of you, there's like vivid dreams coming in and pay attention to those dreams because I feel like there's strong messages that are coming in through your dreams about this situation, all right? For some of you, the dream, it's like, you just pay attention to your dreams, okay? Everybody's going to be different. Let's get more, please, in terms of this person's intentions and energy. Where we have the bottom here. Look at this person spying. All right, for a lot of you, this person could be spying on you. This person could be, again, wondering if you're happy, wondering how you're doing, wondering what your um, current mental state is here. Um, I do feel like this person is someone here that could be very indecisive, strong and decisive. We have Sagittarius here popping up. Um, also Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Look at this energy. It's like, I want you to forgive me. This is the biggest thing I'm, I'm getting in this reading. It's like an energy of... Please forgive me. It doesn't mean I'm ready to be with you. It just means that I'm starting to realize some of my mistakes and how I've been treating you. All right. I know for some of you, you understand what even when someone apologizes, that doesn't mean they've changed. OK, so we have the three of wands here and the two of pentacles. This person understands that they have to take a step towards stability when it comes to moving forward with you. I have to ultimately go through this and I have to get out of my state of um, confusion here and I have to present something that has substance and something that's valuable, right? I have to come in with some sort of promise 
ring or promise energy, right? Something that is unbreakable. For a lot of you, it's like you didn't or haven't, in, you know, um, connected me with your friends and family or you haven't really told your friends and family how you truly feel about me or you're not really being honest with them. You're not telling them how you're constantly sabotaging this relationship. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're waiting for this person to make a decision. There's a lack of stability here, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you, this person has been holding back on telling you exactly how they feel. Okay, now when it comes to this I love you energy, I feel like this person really wants to tell you how they feel. They could be struggling with that, but with the Ace of Swords here, I feel like that's their truth. I love you, but at the same time, I'm not too sure how to present that to you. I'm not too sure how to um, bring in that stability for the relationship. Now, I will say if for some of you, you could have worked with this person or this person could have, um, you know, there's something about work with this energy. Okay, not all of you are going to have that or the conversation could have pertain, you know, the last conversation could have been something about work or some of you have a business together or some of you just, um, you're very inspired by this person or there's something that you do where this person could watch you also. All right. For some of you, if you're someone here that posts a lot or you're someone here that's always online, I feel like this person's constantly watching you with scattered thoughts. Okay. If you look at this person, it's like they're constantly thinking and they're frustrated. They're frustrated because they miss you. They know that this is a connection that's super different, super powerful. What could my viewers expect moving forward here? And I feel like for some of you, this person was keeping a secret about someone else or keeping you a secret here, okay? This person could have been still connected with past energies or there's other people around them and they're not telling them the truth about who you are or what you are. Constantly confused, look at this. Like, I feel like, yes, this is a dream come true. Why are you so confused? Immediate turn off, immediate. Okay, how could you be, like to me with this moon energy that's popping in here, there's huge secrets here. I feel like this person just kept a lot of secrets at times or they wouldn't express themselves or they weren't very, they were very indecisive. And I feel like for a lot of you now, you know, what you're doing is you're going deep within yourself and you're saying, is this someone that I could trust, right? Can I trust this individual to be loyal to me, to present love above water, right? If you look at these images, you'll see someone here underwater. And of course, someone here is popping up above water which means that get out of the secret energy and tell me how you feel stop playing okay there's a strong energy of you know someone here that needs to rise and express their emotions express their truth and i feel like currently they're not doing it and that's something now you're questioning is this person going to be serious about this offer this commitment or this connection right please be honest and i feel like with this full moon energy that's presenting at this time post someone here is coming out or coming up and saying wow i miss silavi tarot subscribers like i really do so for some of you i feel like this is someone here that's wanting to come in and have a new beginning and start to express themselves but i feel like for some of you you feel like this person's still keeping some secrets here or very secretive energy <clears throat> let's see what the messages are and spying, I may add. Okay? But I feel like one of the main energies here is this person starting to understand that I ruin relationships a lot. I feel like that's what they're saying to themselves. Like, this is not my first sabotaging journey. I feel like this person's realizing. They're starting to realize this connection, sweetie, is not the one you want to sabotage. Because this person is actually good to you. So I feel like this person's starting to understand that messing this connection up with my viewers is probably not the best. Because I'm realizing that this person's starting to realize that you were the one that actually cared for them, loved them, accepted them with all their flaws. Okay? Even that walk that they have, you accept. Let me, let me not go there. Okay. Or their teeth, whatever. All right, so <clears throat> what are the messages, Spirit? 
Yeah, you really accepted this person for their flaws. Overlooked it. It says you were all I ever wanted. Yeah. This person's starting to realize that you're what I've been manifesting and I need to leave my old habits behind. It says I wish I could just turn back time and start over with you. Could we start over? Could we... Could you forgive me? Honestly. Could you forgive me? Could you ever look at me the same again? Are you going to move on without me to someone else that possibly deserves you or someone that treats you better than I do? Okay. For some of you, I feel like this is someone here. It's like misery loves company vibes I'm getting. So be careful if you're connecting with someone that keeps on like pulling you into misery, pulling you into issues. Now, if this person wants to come in and they want to be straightforward, then that's a vibe. If this person's coming in and they're not really being productive in terms of working this out into a place of a higher vibration, I think there's a decision here that um, a lot of you have to make. It says I'm healing, but it's a work in progress. Correct here, especially with this temperance energy. Um, this person's healing. They're working on themselves. They're starting to acknowledge. They're waking up, starting to notice how they're torturing themselves. One more, please. Got one more. I see you in my dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. As I stated earlier, pay attention to your dreams. All right. And it says, I know in my heart that we will be together again. We'll definitely connect at some point again here. I love you. I will talk to you soon. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you're interested in a personal reading, we can go through that by looking in the description box below and booking from there. It's the only way to really book me. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Love you.